How to take good care of yourself as a woman. Download article. Methods. 1. Nurturing your physical health. 2. Maintaining good hygiene. 3. Developing emotional self-care habits. Other sections. Expert Q&A. Tips and warnings. Related articles. References. Article summary. Co-authored by Leah Morris. Last updated, the 22nd of July, 2024 approved. It's important to take good care of yourself every day to stay healthy and happy. If you're a girl, then there are a few special considerations to include in your self-care routine. Start by ensuring that your physical health is a priority by eating healthy foods, exercising, and avoiding things that could harm you, such as drugs, cigarettes, and alcohol. Then, turn your attention to your daily hygiene routines to help you look and feel your best. And don't forget about your emotional self-care habits. Be kind to yourself and assert yourself in your relationships with other people. Method 1. Nurturing your physical health Download article 1. Nourish your body with healthy foods. Instead of reaching for junk foods. When you're hungry, go for more fruits, veggies, whole grains, and lean. Proteins. These foods will nourish your body, keep you feeling full for longer. And help you to have more energy every day. 1, 2. For example, you could have apple slices with 1 to 2 tablespoons. 15 to 30 g of peanut butter for a snack. Or, make a healthy turkey sandwich for your lunch with whole. Wheat bread, a few slices of turkey, lettuce, tomato, and mustard. 2. Sleep for at least 8 hours every night. Being well rested will help you to feel your best the following day, so go to bed early enough each night to get this amount of sleep. Turn off your phone, tablet, computer, and TV at least 30 minutes before you turn in and do something relaxing to wind yourself down. 3. Try taking a warm shower or bath before you put on your pajamas. Have a cup of caffeine-free herbal tea, such as chamomile or peppermint. Listen to some relaxing music or read a book in bed. 3. Exercise for 30 to 60 minutes on most days of the week. Getting regular. Exercise is an important way to take good care of your health. Make sure to choose an activity that you like so that you will actually want to do it. 4. For example, if you like dancing, try taking dance classes or dancing along to music in your bedroom. If you enjoy ice skating, hit the rink a few times per week. If you're a fan of running, join a runner's club in your area. 4. Relax every day for at least 15 minutes. Relaxation is important for your physical and mental health, so make it a priority. Plan to spend at least 15 minutes every day doing something that you find relaxing. Some activities you might try include 5. Deep breathing, which is a quick and easy way to experience a sense of calm. Meditation, which can help to quiet your mind and relieve stress. Yoga, which is an effective form of exercise and a great way to relax. Progressive muscle relaxation, which can help reduce everything from headaches to anxiety. 5. Steer clear of cigarettes and drugs. These substances are bad for you and you will not be taking good care of your body if you use them. Cigarettes put you at 
a high risk of all kinds of diseases, from cancer to heart disease to asthma. Drugs lower your inhibitions and put you at risk of injury and death from risky behaviors or overdose. Just say no if someone offers you drugs. 6. Drink plenty of water to stay well hydrated. Water is the best thing to drink. Since it hydrates your body without added sugar. However, there's no specific amount of water that you should drink every day. Drink water whenever you're thirsty or sweaty to stay hydrated. 6. Keep a water bottle on hand and take sips of it throughout the day any time you feel thirsty or after getting sweaty, such as from exercising. Refill your water bottle as needed. Tip, if you don't like the taste of plain water, flavor it with a splash of juice, a twist of lemon or lime, or a few cucumber slices. 7. Practice safe sex if you're sexually active. If you've recently started having sex, then it's important to keep yourself safe whenever you do so. Insist that your partner wears a condom every time. Keep some in your purse or backpack so that you're always prepared. If they refuse to wear a condom, do not have sex with them. Sexually transmitted diseases are common and anyone can get one. 7. You can visit a local clinic to get free condoms and contraceptives. Method 2. Maintaining good hygiene. Download article 1. Wash your hands after using the bathroom and before eating. Hand Hygiene is important for protecting yourself from germs and bacteria that collect on your hands throughout the day. Hold your hands under warm running water and lather hand soap between them for 20 seconds to get them clean. Then, rinse your hands thoroughly and pat them dry with a clean, dry towel. 8. 2. Shower or bathe every day. This will help you to stay clean and fresh. Wash your body thoroughly with soap or a body wash. Pay more attention to your armpits, vagina, and under your breasts. Allow the water to run over these areas a little longer than others to ensure that they are clean. Then, dry yourself off with a clean, dry towel. 9. You can also shave your legs and underarms while you're in the shower or bath if you want to remove excess body hair. However, this is totally optional. If you don't want to shave, then don't worry about it. Apply lotion to your body after you shower if your skin seems dry. Tip, you may want to bathe twice daily when you're on your period. You're more likely to develop odors during your period, so taking a shower in the morning and at night may be helpful. 3. Shampoo and condition every other day, or more often if needed. How often you need to shampoo your hair will depend on whether or not it is oily. If your scalp produces a lot of oil, then you may need to wash it every day. However, if you have a normal or dry scalp, then you can wash your hair once every other day or possibly even every three days. Focus on washing your scalp. When you shampoo your hair and then apply conditioner to the ends of your hair to moisturize it. 10. If you have dandruff, use a dandruff fighting shampoo. Avoid heat styling tools. If you do use them, apply a heat. Protect a product to your hair first. 4. Wash your face at least two times daily. Wash your face after you wake up in the morning and before going to bed at night. Use a gentle skin cleanser and warm water to wash your face. 
you can use your fingertips to apply the skin. Cleanser or use a soft wash cloth. Work the cleanser into wet skin and then Splash your face with water three or more times to rinse away the soap. Pat your skin dry and apply moisturizer to your face and neck. 11. 5. Brush your teeth two to three times daily. Ideally, brush your teeth after every meal. To keep them clean and fresh. However, if this isn't possible, brushing your Teeth after you wake up in the morning and before bed at night may be more realistic. Use a fluoride toothpaste and brush the tops, backs, sides of all of your teeth. Spend about two minutes brushing and then rinse your mouth with water. 12. Replace your toothbrush every three months as well. 6. Change your pad, cup or tampon every four hours if you're on your period. It's important to change your pad, cup, or tampon regularly when you are on your period, so check it every time you go to the bathroom. If it seems full, change it. This will help to prevent odors and infection. 13. Tampons also carry the risk of toxic shock syndrome if you wear them for too long, so never wear a tampon for more than 8 hours and always go with the lowest level of absorption that you need. 7. Trim, clean, and file your nails every week. You don't need to go for a manicure every week, but taking a few minutes to trim, file down, and clean. Your nails can help to improve your overall hygiene. Use a nail brush to scrub under your nails with soap and water if you like them long since long nails can harbor bacteria. 14. Don't bite your nails or cuticles. This can damage your fingernails and lead to an infection. You can apply nail polish to your nails if desired. Choose a color that you like and apply two coats. Let each coat dry completely after applying it. 8. Wear clean clothing that fits you well and makes you feel good. When you dress yourself, make sure to choose items that have been laundered since you last wore them to ensure that they smell good. Also, select items that fit your body well and that you like to wear. Don't wear clothing that makes you feel uncomfortable or that is painfully tight. Opt for comfortable items that are also practical for what you'll be doing. For example, if you have school, then a comfortable pair of jeans and a t-shirt or sweater might be the perfect choice. Don't worry about dressing in clothes that fit a certain trend. Wear items that make you feel good. Expert tip. Elena LeBlanc. Personal stylist. Try out different styles and looks. In a style rut. Identify the image you want. To cultivate. Prioritize purchasing high quality garments and learn about fabrics. And construction to make informed choices. Most importantly, don't be afraid to. Try new styles that flatter your body and make you feel confident. Method 3. Developing emotional self-care habits. Download article 1. Contradict negative self-talk with positive thinking. Negative self-talk is when you put yourself down or criticize yourself. Everyone does it sometimes but it's not good for your self-esteem. Pay attention to when you do this and correct yourself when it happens. To correct negative self-talk, simply contradict the negative thought or statement. 15. For example, if you get a bad grade on a test and catch yourself thinking, 
I am so stupid, stop yourself, take a deep breath, and revise the thought. Try telling yourself something that you might tell a friend who has just gotten a bad grade, such as, it's okay. It's just one grade. You did your best. You can learn from this. Experience and do even better next time. Try viewing negative situations with a curious mindset instead. Ask yourself questions like what needs to change here? Or Why was this so negative? 16. 2. Practice mindfulness to stay engaged with your surroundings. Mindfulness is when you pay closer attention to what is happening right now by using your five senses. You can use sight, sound, smell, taste, and touch to help you connect with the world around you, feel more present, and keep yourself feeling calm and happy. The next time you feel overwhelmed or stressed, take a moment to Look at the situation using all five senses. 17. For example, if you're feeling stressed while at home studying. For a big test, you might stop and notice the feeling of the carpet. Between your toes, the smell of an air freshener in your bedroom, the taste of your mint chewing gum, the soft glow of a flameless candle on your desk, and the sound of the wind. Blowing outside. 3. Reach out to people you trust when you're stressed or feeling down. Talking with someone who cares about you can help you to feel better. When things are difficult, call a trusted friend or family member when you're struggling with something and tell them how you're feeling. 18, 19. For example, if you've been having a hard time making friends at school, you might tell a friend or family member about this and how it's made you feel. Try saying something like, I'm struggling with making friends right now and I'm not sure what to do. 4. Set and enforce healthy boundaries with friends and family members. Your boundaries are what you will and will not accept in terms of how people treat you. Identify what behaviors you will not tolerate from other people and make it clear to them. Let them know how you will respond if they cross a boundary. 20. For example, if you have a friend who sometimes yells at you when they are mad, then let them know this is unacceptable. Try saying something like, I understand that you get frustrated sometimes, but it's not okay to take it out on me by yelling at me. If you do that, I will have to walk away or hang up. Be sure to follow through with whatever consequences you set. For example, if your friend yells at you, walk away or hang up on them. Don't give them a second warning. It's important to stick to your boundaries to show people that you will enforce them. 5. Meditate or pray daily, if you want to develop your spiritual life. Prayer or meditation can be a soothing way to begin or end your day. It's also a great way to take care of your spiritual needs if you want to develop a spiritual life. Try. Doing a guided meditation or simply sit in silence for 10 to 15 minutes each day. And focus on a mantra or quote that you like. 21. You might also consider joining a church or going to a meditation center once or twice per week. 6. Keep your personal spaces clean and inviting. Taking care of your Possessions and the areas that belong to you, such as your bedroom and locker, is important for your emotional well-being. If these areas are messy and not well-kept, you may feel overwhelmed whenever you look at them. But if you keep them neat and tidy, 
Seeing these areas will be a relaxing experience. Take 15 minutes each day to tidy your personal spaces. 22. Use shelves and organizers to make things look neat and tidy. Tip, consider donating anything that is cluttering your area that you don't use. Such as old clothes or toys. Or, if your family has a yard sale, ask if you can. Include some of your items to make a little extra money for yourself. Expert Q&A Question How do you mentally take care of yourself? Leah Morris Life Coach Expert Answer Practice self-love by paying attention to what you need. Let yourself cry if you're feeling emotional, or go on an adventure if you're feeling bored. Take time to care for yourself both mentally and physically. Not helpful to helpful 11. Question. What are three things a female-bodied person can do to take care of their body? WikiHow staff editor. Staff answer. First, you can eat well. Make sure to eat a balanced diet that includes fruit and vegetables, lean protein, and plenty of healthy sources of fat, such as vegetable oils nuts and seeds, and fish. It's also important to get plenty of sleep, since sleeping well can improve your overall health and relieve stress. Since people with female bodies are susceptible to different health issues from male-bodied people, see your gynecologist or general practitioner for regular checkups and screenings. Not helpful for helpful 24. Question. How do you take care of yourself as a teenage girl? WikiHow staff editor. Staff answer. To take care of yourself physically, eat a balanced diet, get plenty of physical activity, and make sure you sleep at least 8 to 10 hours each night if you can. Being a teen can be stressful so don't neglect your emotional health. Spend time with supportive friends and family, take time to work on hobbies you enjoy, and try stress-relieving activities, like meditation and yoga. Not helpful 3 helpful 22. See more answers. Ask a question. Submit. Tips. If you are of the legal drinking age and decide to drink alcohol, do so in moderation. For women, this means no more than one drink per day. If you have acne, choose an acne-fighting skin cleanser to wash your face. Then, follow it up with a non-comedogenic moisturizer, which won't clog your pores and is less likely to cause acne. Tips from our readers. Although wearing clothing that you like is always great to do, make sure that your parents are fine with your outfits before you wear them. When putting on sunscreen, don't forget your lips, apply some lip balm with sunscreen, too. Submit a tip. All tip submissions are carefully reviewed before being published. Submit. You might also like how to. Know if you are growing taller. How to. Go to sleep fast for kids. How to get fit as a teenager. How to deal with diarrhea if. You're stuck at school. How to. Get rid of period cramps. How to. Be a healthy teen girl. How to. Be a hygienic teenage girl. How to. Get rid of a stomach ache at school. References 1 https forward slash forward slash www.cdc.gov forward slash health i wait forward slash healthy underscore eating forward slash index dot html. 2 Leah Morris. Life coach. Expert interview. The 19th of June, 2020. 
3 https forward slash forward slash kidshield.org forward slash en forward slash teens forward slash how much sleep dot html weight dot ac equals ctg 4 https forward slash forward slash kidshield.org forward slash en forward slash teens forward slash exercise wise dot html weight dot ac equals ctg 5 https forward slash forward slash www.write.edu forward slash student affairs forward slash health and wellness forward slash counseling and wellness forward slash workshops and self help forward slash self care hash physical 6 https forward slash forward slash www.mayoclinic.org forward slash healthy lifestyle forward slash nutrition and healthy eating forward slash in depth forward slash water forward slash art 20044256 7 https forward slash forward slash www.planetparenthood.org forward slash learn forward slash stdshiv safer sex forward slash safer sex. 8 https forward slash forward slash www.cdc.gov forward slash features forward slash handwashing forward slash index.html. 9 https forward slash forward slash kidshield.org forward slash en forward slash teens forward slash hygiene basics dot html weight dot ac equals ctg more references 13 about this article co-authored by leah morris life coach this article was co-authored by leah morris Leah Morris is a life and relationship transition coach and the owner of Life Remade, a holistic personal coaching service. With over three years as a professional coach, she specializes in guiding people as they move through both short-term and long-term life transitions. Leah holds a BA in Organizational Communication from California State University. Chico and is a certified transformational life coach through the Southwest Institute for Healing Arts. This article has been viewed 371,782 times. 34 votes, 91%. Co-authors, 44. Updated, the 22nd of July, 2024. Views. 371,782 Categories, Health for Teens and Kids In other languages Italian Russian French Indonesian Print Send fan mail to authors Thanks to all authors for creating a page that has been read 371,782 Times. How to become valedictorian. Download article. Parts. 1. Getting ready. 2. Working hard. 3. Staying centered. Other sections. Expert Q&A. Tips and warnings. Related articles. References. Article summary. Co-authored by Jennifer Keifsch. Last updated, the 26th of June, 2024 Fact Checked Weird Al Yankovic, Alicia Keys, and Jodie Foster What do all of these celebrities have in common? They were all valedictorians of their class. Though being valedictorian won't make you a supermodel or singer, it can set you on an impressive path that can lead you to succeed in your college career and in the world at large. All you need is to have mental toughness, endurance, and an unbeatable work ethic. So how do you do it? Just follow these steps. Part 1. Getting ready. Download article. 1. Start young. 
Unfortunately, in most cases, you can't just waltz into your high school on the first day of freshman year and decide to be valedictorian. You'll need to have proved yourself in middle school by taking the most rigorous math and English courses that your middle school had to offer. Some middle schools don't have tracking for their classes, but some do offer honors courses. As early as 7th or 8th grade, being in these courses will set you on a path to honors courses in high school, so make sure you've laid the groundwork for this. You can move up in English more easily, but once you're locked into a math track, it'll be harder to move ahead. For example, if you're in regular algebra in 8th grade, you'll have to go to regular geometry in 9th unless you've really proven yourself. If you can take two math classes, as this can help you get ahead. 2. Learn how your school chooses its valedictorian. Some schools rank students with an unweighted GPA while others award extra points for harder classes. 1. Most schools do offer extra points for taking harder courses so you should aim to take these, and even if your school doesn't offer extra points for harder courses, you should still aim for success, after all, if you want to be valedictorian, then you probably want to go to a top-notch school, which means You'll have to take the most challenging classes anyway. For example, if your school does use a weighted GPA to determine valedictorian, then you may receive a 4.0 foreigner in regular classes, a 5.0 foreigner in honors classes and a 6.0 foreign in AP classes. 2. A valedictorian also typically gives a graduation speech in front of their classmates. But if this is the part that appeals to you the most, then make sure that the speech giver is the valedictorian. Some schools have the student body president give a speech. Some have students vote for which student should give the speech, while others have the valedictorian and the student body president and another student give a speech. Some schools have more than one valedictorian or as many as 29. 3. Choose your classes wisely. If your school does factor the weighted GPA into their decision to choose the valedictorian, then you should take the most rigorous courses whenever possible. If you think that the harder classes may be too tough for you, then you may need to rethink being valedictorian. To be the valedictorian, you have to get as in the hardest classes at your school pretty much every time. Are you up for the challenge? Take AP classes over honors classes when you can, if they are worth more points. Your electives can really hurt your weighted GPA because they tend to be considered regular classes. However, all students in your school will most likely be expected to take some electives, such as gym or art class. Whenever you can, though, try to take an elective that is worth more points, if you have the option. For example, don't take creative writing if it is considered a regular class. Take AP language and composition if it is offered to everyone instead. Sure, you may end up missing out on some fun classes over the course of your high school career. But those classes will not get you to be the valedictorian. If your school has the option of not having to take gym if you do a sport, then consider picking up a sport if not taking gym will. Boost your GPA. If you want to be valedictorian, then you should also be well-rounded so you stand out in college applications for more than just your grades. 
you should obviously not take a sport, though, just to make your GPA higher, because the extra time you devote to sports may keep you away from your studies. 4. Remember that being the valedictorian will not guarantee you a spot to any elite college. If you want to be valedictorian, then you must be very ambitious, having your sights on elite schools such as Harvard, Yale, Duke, or Amherst. But remember that when you apply to colleges such as these, valedictorians will be a dime a dozen. Being valedictorian will keep you in the running and will impress admissions officers, but you want to avoid looking like a cold grade obsessed automaton and show that you have depth, several other interests, and that you're a good citizen of your community. 3. Even William Moffat Simmons, the Dean of Admissions at Harvard, recently said, I think, it's a bit of an anachronism. This has been a long tradition, but in the world of college admissions, it makes no real difference. Being valedictorian in addition to showing strengths in sports, community service, or the arts will help you be an amazing candidate. But being ranked hash 10 in your class and doing these same things won't make you look much worse. Your SAT score will also have a major impact on your college. Acceptances Many colleges place equal weight on your GPA and your SAT score that means your effort for four years of high school courses will amount to about as much as your efforts on a 3.5 hour exam. Sound fair? It isn't, but you've got to get used to it. Part 2 Working Hard Download Article 1. Study smart. If you want to be a valedictorian, then you have to study smart. To get good grades. This doesn't mean that you should spend all of your waking hours perched over your book, but it does mean that you should study as efficiently and thoroughly as possible. Here are some tips to get you studying. Hard, for. Make an efficient study schedule. Maybe you will spend two to three hours of studying a night, or maybe you will study for three to four hours every other night. Whatever you do, make a plan in advance so you don't end up getting overwhelmed or procrastinate. Pace yourself. Set a goal 10 to 15 pages per day, and don't go. Overboard too much or you'll burn out. Take advantage of practice quizzes. Your history books, math, textbooks, or other course material may come with practice. Questions that you can use to see how well you know the course. Materials. Even if your teacher doesn't use these resources, they can be valuable to you. Make flashcards. If flashcards help you memorize historical concepts, foreign languages, or even mathematical operations, use them. 2. Stand out in the classroom. You don't have to be the teacher's pet to be stellar. In the classroom, you should, however, arrive to class on time, participate in class discussion and ask questions when you're confused about something. Being focused in the classroom will help you absorb the course. Information more, which will lead you to do better on tests, and it will also make your teacher like you more and will help you earn any in-class points allotted for the course, such as participation points. Keep your chatter with other students to a minimum. You may be missing some important information. Take stellar notes to study from. Don't just write down what the teacher is saying word for word. Try to put the notes in your own words so you really absorb the material.
talk to your teacher after class occasionally. You don't have to. Annoy your teacher by always being there, but getting to know. Your teachers a bit more will help you stand out in their eyes. 3. Get organized. If you want to succeed in the classroom and throughout your studies, then you have to be organized. You need to have a notebook for every class, clearly labeled binders, a clean locker, and an organized desk at home. If your life is filled with clutter, then you won't be able to retain information as easily and you won't have as much to focus on your coursework as you'd want. 5. Keep a planner where you write down all of the homework due each day. Keep a calendar over your desk where you can mark important test dates. 4. Read ahead. Reading ahead to the material that your teacher will cover the next day or next week will give you a leg up on the course content and will keep you from getting confused or not absorbing as much information as you could. As long as you're not covering anything too difficult that would be easier to Comprehend if it were first explained by your teacher, you will be giving yourself a leg up by doing this. 6. Reading ahead is a great way to give yourself an edge. Just don't bring it up when you participate in class or the teacher may get annoyed that you're stealing her thunder or confusing other students with additional information. 5. Get extra help. You may be thinking, if I'm trying to be the valedictorian, then why would I need extra help? This is where you're precisely wrong. If you want to be the valedictorian, then you have to get an edge over the competition. Get more information or more repetition of the subject matter, whether you ask your teacher for extra help after class. Ask your parents for more help if they understand your homework better than you do, or even ask an older successful student for some assistance. You can also invest in a private tutor, but those can get pretty pricey. Part 3. Staying Centered Download Article 1. Participate in extracurricular activities. Always leave time for clubs, sports, volunteering, or other activities outside of class. Believe it or not, extracurricular commitments can boost your grades because they can help you organize your time better. Studies even show that student athletes tend to do better in school than non-athletes. 7. This will also help you stay grounded and will keep you from obsessing over your studies too much. 2. Maintain your social life. You don't want to be holed up in your room, studying for 10 hours under the glare of a too bright light bulb. You want to have time to study, sure, but you also want to make time to pursue your friendships, go to parties hang out at the movies, or even go to the school. Carnival If you spend 100% of your time with your nose buried in a book, you may start to feel a little bit unhinged and lonely. You don't have to be the life of the party, but having at least a few meaningful friendships will make you feel more motivated to study. Be sure that you stay away from most of the drama at your school, for it can be very time-consuming. 8. Find some friends that you can study with. Having a group of like-minded students can help you make studying more fun and productive. Try starting a study group for one of your classes and see how it works out. If you're able to stay focused, then you've just improved your chances of acing your classes. Tell us what you think. 
which of the following strategies do you find most effective for maintaining a balanced lifestyle? Prioritizing self-care and relaxation. Setting realistic goals and expectations. Time management techniques. Seeking support from friends and family. 398 total votes. 3. Be aware of your competition, but don't obsess about rivals. You don't want to waste time on narcissism and nervous backstabbing. Don't go around asking your rivals what they got on their tests, how much time they spent studying for the latest exam, or what grade they think they're going to get in a class. This will make you focus your efforts in the wrong places and will keep you focused on what you have to do. Remember that everyone is different. Maybe you need to study for four hours to ace an exam and the student next to you only needs to study for three hours to do well. You don't have to be the most naturally gifted to be the valedictorian you just have to work the hardest. 4. Treat your body with care. Becoming valedictorian isn't a test of raw intellect. It's a test of endurance. Be healthy. Eat breakfast, and stay away from drugs and alcohol. Only when your body is strong can you perform at the highest level. Though you can splurge on pizza and candy once in a while, eating power foods like nuts, vegetables, and proteins will keep you focused on your work and will keep you from crashing or losing steam. 9. You can still have a social life while avoiding drugs or alcohol. If you want to be valedictorian, then you have to stick with the right crowd. 5. Get plenty of rest. Getting 7 to 8 hours of sleep a night and going to bed around the same time and waking up around the same time will keep your body feeling energetic and strong and will give you the fuel you need to pay attention in class, succeed in your exams, and to be a stellar student. Make sure you give yourself plenty of time to study so you don't end up going to bed at 3 in the morning and sleeping through your classes. 10. Try to go to bed no later than 10 or 11 p.m. and give yourself at least 45 minutes to an hour before you leave the house in the morning so you feel alert when you head to class. 6. Don't put too much pressure on yourself. If you want to be the valedictorian, then you have to relax a little bit. Don't tell yourself that every little grade matters and will influence your fate and your chances of going to a good college. Sure, grades are important, but so is being mentally sound and having great friendships. Remind yourself that it's not the end of the world if you don't get a perfect test grade you'll get M next time. 11. To be the valedictorian, you'll have to be in a calm state of mind. Or you may find that the pressure is suddenly too much to deal with. Stay positive and always look forward doesn't waste your time stressing about your test grade from a month or a year ago. It just isn't worth it. Expert Q&A Question How can I manage all of my homework? Jennifer Keifsch Founder, Great Expectations College Prep Expert Answer Start using a calendar Take some time every weekend to assess the work due in the upcoming week and come up with a realistic estimate of how long each assignment will take. Set aside time by class, by assignment, by day to ensure that you are allotting enough time to do each well before the due dates. When you have an exam looming on the horizon, don't wait until the night before to study. Make time to organize your notes.
research confusing topics, and forward slash or make flashcards. Not helpful too helpful 12. Question. How should I take and study notes? Jennifer Keifsch. Founder, Great Expectations College Prep. Expert answer. This depends entirely on the subject of the class as well as whether you have access to a laptop forward slash tablet or will be writing notes by hand. Try to highlight keywords and concepts and, whenever possible, organize your notes in a clear, structured way. Even better, record the lecture on your phone and type up notes. After class when you have time to hit pause and search confusing terms forward slash concepts as you go. Not helpful too helpful 12. Question. When can you become a valedictorian? Community answer. The valedictorian is the person with the highest GPA by graduation. It happens. At high school graduation and at many colleges. Not helpful 29 helpful 237. See more answers. Ask a question. Submit. Tips. If you want to become a valedictorian, make sure you're not distracted and never. Give others the chance to excel over you when they shouldn't. Stay focused. If you really want to be valedictorian, then you have to fight for it. Becoming valedictorian is only half the battle. It only gets you half of the way. You also have to write a valedictorian speech. Show more tips. Tips from our readers. Don't beat yourself up over a failure. Everyone makes mistakes. Think of it as a learning opportunity. Just take a deep breath, identify what you did wrong, and move on with that knowledge. While extracurricular activities are beneficial, joining too many can stress you out and make it harder to accomplish becoming valedictorian. Don't obsess about being the best to the point you are viewing your friends as the competition. Submit a tip. All tip submissions are carefully reviewed before being published. Submit. Warnings. Becoming valedictorian is not a significant advantage that guarantees acceptance into any Ivy League school. Valedictorians get rejected all the time, often for those in second or third place. Do sports or other extracurricular activities too. Unless they become too time-consuming. Remember, there's more to life than class rank. If you don't get valedictorian, who will care 10 years from now? Most likely nobody. What will matter are the friends you kept and the passions you discovered. Make sure to have fun, just stay out of trouble. Youth. Youth dating. How to make a guy feel special. Download article. Methods. 1. Pampering him. 2. Showing him you care. Other sections. Video. Tips and warnings. Related articles. References. Article summary. Co-authored by Elvina Louis, MFT. Last updated, the 6th of May, 2024 Fact Checked The idea that it is a guy's job to make a woman feel special, and not the other way around, is very out of date. Today, it's normal for both partners to share the affection in a relationship. While every guy is different, there are a few basic things you can do to Remind almost any special man how important he is to you. Surprise your partner with these ideas to show you care. Method 1. Pampering him. Download article. 1. Compliment the special guy. Men like feeling like they've affected their
partner in a positive way. If your guy goes out of his way to do something for you, don't let it go unnoticed. Compliment your special man. Let him know you. Notice his efforts and that he means the world to you. 1. Try to be genuine with your compliments. It's usually easy to tell. When a compliment isn't sincere, so don't risk having this. Happen between you and your man. Giving him just a few. Genuine compliments is better than giving lots of forgettable ones. 2. Another way to compliment your man is simply to give him your attention. Focusing on him, especially when you're talking with each other, shows that he is important to you. 2. Treat him to something you know he likes. No one knows your special man better than you, so pick a fun activity that you're sure he loves. He will definitely appreciate your gesture. If you're feeling especially generous, you can even treat him to an entire night that's all about him. For example, you might try cooking him dinner, his favorite meal would be a good choice. You can put on his favorite songs while you eat together, then watch his favorite film together after that. Little details like this can really make him feel special. Turning a small gift into a surprise can make it even more amazing. For example, try slipping tickets to his favorite sports team into his hands when both of you are having dinner. The gifts can be inexpensive, but with the effort that goes into planning a great surprise. They'll make him feel like a million bucks. 3. If you treat your man to a night out, don't be afraid to pay, it's not a guy's duty to pay for his lady every single time. This being said, you don't need to spend a lot of money to make him feel special. 3. Be generous with your affection. Tell your special guy that you love him. Treat him to lots of hugs, kisses, and snuggling, whatever you know he likes. Remind him that he's the perfect one for you and that you couldn't ask for anyone better. If he knows you're being sincere, this will make him feel special. If you're trying to make your man feel special, try not to be overly critical. If he makes a minor mistake, let it go. Bringing it up during a romantic day together can kill the mood. On the other hand, if he does or says something that's cruel or seriously disrespectful, you don't need to stay silent just because you were trying to make him feel good. 4. Look your best. A good relationship is about much more than physical appearances, but it doesn't hurt to look amazing. Your special guy will be proud to be around such a great-looking partner when both of you go out together. Dress up, smell great, and you'll look fab in his arms. Each time one of his friends or colleagues drops his jaw in awe of you, your man will be proud that. He's dating a girl who's as gorgeous and awesome as you. 5. Flirt with him. Guys love to feel loved and desired. One great way to do this is to flirt with him as if you were just getting to know each other, even if you've been together for years. There are lots of ways to do this. 4. You can compliment his looks. Give him little shows of affection and then play hard to get or even gently tease him. Again, however, being genuine is crucial. Need some flirty ideas to get you started. See our article on flirting for easy instructions. 6. Stroke his ego. Men love it when their partner makes them feel strong and important. 
You can do this by giving him chances to prove himself. It may sound silly, but even asking your man to help with things you could probably do yourself can work here. For example, getting him to help change the light bulb or open a jar of pickles can make him feel like a valued provider. Some men may not pick up on your gesture right away, so give him a compliment as he finishes the task. Even something as simple as how strong, accompanied by a kiss on the cheek can get the point across. Expert tip. While individuals vary, generally speaking, males have a greater need to feel respected while females have a greater need to be adored. Elvina Louis, MFT. Relationship expert. 7. Show your affection through touch. Subtle touches can be better for communicating your love than words. Start by touching him casually whenever the opportunity presents itself. For instance, if he says something you disagree with, you can shove him playfully and say shut up. As you spend more time together, touch him more often and in more intimate ways. Touch his shoulders and chest if you're standing up. Touch his leg if you're sitting down. Let your hand linger for a few seconds before taking it away. Start hugging him to greet him and say goodbye. Finally, if you're ready to move into serious territory, you can kiss him. 5. Whenever you touch, make sure you really mean it, a forced, insincere touch won't make him feel special. The limit on your touching should be whatever you and your special guy are comfortable with. Don't feel pressured to move too fast. Stick to physical shows of affection that don't leave you uneasy and allow your relationship to progress naturally. Method 2. Showing him you care. Download article 1. Be yourself. Nothing makes a guy feel special like showing him your true self. This is especially true if you don't normally show it to other people. Be silly, be strange, be wild, whatever you feel like being. This shows how comfortable you feel around him, which in turn will make him lower his guard as well. Timing is important here. While you should start to lower your guard once it's clear that you like each other, you shouldn't immediately start launching into your most bizarre habits. This can be confusing. Instead, introduce these things gradually so you both have a chance to get used to each other's true selves. 2. Be confident. Ironically, believing in yourself can make your special guy feel more valued. Don't feel nervous or pressured to make your man feel special. Instead, stay relaxed and casual. Be friendly and act genuinely interested in what he has to say, but don't, for instance, force yourself to laugh at a joke you don't find funny. Try to keep eye contact with him when you're having a conversation. Smile when he makes you feel good. These simple gestures show him that you're confident in your own skin and confident loving him. On the other hand, avoiding eye contact, staring at your feet, or nervously hanging on his every word will get the opposite result. Guys sometimes aren't the best at reading other people's emotions, so being nervous, timid, or quiet can make it seem like there's something wrong with him. 3. Stand up for your man. Guys are often pressured to act strong and hyper. Confident, so being able to take some of this burden off his shoulders can be greatly appreciated. 
For example, if someone in public disrespects him or is rude, you don't have to meekly stand by and wait for him to handle it. Feel free to stand up for him with your words and actions. This will make him feel like you are willing to go out of your way to protect him, which shows how much you care about him. 4. Give him your support when he's down. Guys sometimes don't get lots of opportunities to express anxieties and feelings of vulnerability. They often feel pressure to act like nothing ever worries them. They may even have been taught that showing vulnerability, through fear, crying, etc., is a sign of weakness. You know better, so make sure he knows that you'll always be there for him. Let him know that, around you, he doesn't have to be strong all of the time. Offering a hand to hold and a shoulder to cry on when things are not going well for him can make him feel like the most special guy in the world. Some men may not take every opportunity to share their fears and anxieties with you. Try not to feel unwanted if he pretends that everything is fine when it's obviously not. Offering your help, even if he declines it, shows that you care about him and are always eager to help him. Be ready to support him when he does ask for your help. Expert Q&A Ask a question Submit Video Tips This can't be stated enough, you can, and should, take your special guy out. Sometimes. Don't simply wait for him to take you out. While this once the norm. Today, partners in a relationship are expected to share dating duties. Opinions vary on the subject of PDA, public displays of affection. Some guys love to show off by hugging and kissing their ladies in public, while others are embarrassed by this kind of behavior. If you're not sure how your man feels, just ask him. Pay attention to his reaction when you do give him some PDA, he may claim to enjoy it but flush with embarrassment when it actually happens. Submit a tip. All tip submissions are carefully reviewed before being published. Submit. How to be a conservative girl. Download article. Co-authored by L. Monas and Amy Bobinger. Last updated, the 8th of December, 2023 approved. Clothing. Lifestyle. Political choices. Expert Q&A. Interested in becoming a conservative girl or girlfriend? Being conservative is multifaceted, but it mostly comes down to valuing tradition, modesty, and self-reliance. As a conservative girl, you might support conservative policies, dress more modestly, and live a more traditional lifestyle, although it's completely up to you how conservative you want to be. Not sure where to start? Don't worry, we've got everything you need to know to embrace your conservative side. Method 1. Clothing Download article 1. Opt for clothing that covers your body from the shoulders to the knees. When you're dressing conservatively, it's important not to show too much skin, especially your shoulders, cleavage, midriff, and upper legs. If the weather is hot, opt for loose, flowy clothing to help keep you cool, rather than Skimpy clothing that will leave you exposed. 1. Short sleeves are usually fine when you're dressing conservatively, but if you're in doubt whether that's appropriate, opt for an elbow length or long sleeved shirt to be on the safe side. In some places, skirts that stop just above the knee are 
considered conservative. However, in some cultures, showing your knees or even your ankles would still be considered revealing to need some style inspiration. Look to chic, conservative style icons like Audrey Hepburn, Coco Chanel, and Grace Kelly for ideas of how to dress modestly while still looking stylish. 2. Add layers if you need a little more coverage. If you're concerned that your favorite clothes show too much skin, mix and match them with layering pieces to help you cover up. Layers are also good if your clothing is sheer or transparent. 3. For instance, you can wear a cami underneath a v-neck shirt to ensure you don't show too much cleavage, and a long tank top is a great option if you think your shirt might ride up and expose your midriff. You can also layer a lightweight shirt, blouse, or scarf over a Pretty spaghetti strap dress to cover your shoulders and chest. 3. Avoid wearing clothes that fit very tightly. Sometimes, you can show too much of your figure even when you're completely covered up. If you want to dress conservatively, avoid styles that fit tightly around your bust, waist, or hips. However, you don't necessarily have to wear shapeless, baggy clothes. Either. Instead, stick to styles that skim lightly over your figure. Not only will this be more comfortable and modest, but it tends to be a more flattering look. As well. If you're wearing leggings, yoga pants, or another style of pants that fit snugly to your body, Opt for a long tunic or a blouse that covers your crotch and rear. 4. Wear mostly neutrals with a few pops of colors. Dressing conservatively typically means gravitating toward tasteful neutral shades like black, white, beige, tan, blue, gray, and ivory. However, if you love bright colors, you don't have to stop wearing them. Just wear one brightly colored piece at a time, and keep the rest of your outfit toned down. 4. For instance, if you're going to work, you might wear a gray blazer, slacks, and shoes, with a magenta blouse. On the other hand, you might opt for a white blouse and add color with a statement necklace, instead. 5. Keep your accessories minimal. If you want to look conservative, don't pile on all of your accessories at once. Instead, stick to two or three pretty pieces when you're getting dressed, like a string of pearls, a simple ring, and a nice watch. It's okay to use bold jewelry to add pizzards to your outfit, but stick to one statement piece at a time. If you're wearing a chunky, colorful necklace, for instance, you might skip wearing earrings, or just wear a pair of subtle studs. Tell us what you think. What is your go-to accessory when you want to add a touch of elegance to your conservative outfit? String of pearls. Simple ring. Nice watch. Tasteful earrings. Sleek belt. 47 total votes. 6. Stick to practical footwear. For the most part, it's prudent to avoid stiletto. Heels or flashy footwear that's hard to walk in. Instead, opt for tasteful flats or low pumps, although ankle and knee-high boots can look conservative. Depending on how the rest of your outfit is styled. 5. For instance, knee-high boots would be the perfect way to complete a fall outfit if you were wearing a knee-length skirt, dark tights or leggings, and a sweater. 7. Wear your hair well-groomed in a classic style. There's no one perfect. 
haircut that will make you look conservative, but avoid getting a severe cut, like a close-cropped style or a style that's shaved on one side. However, styles like a sleek, straight bob, loose waves, a low bun, and long curls can all be well-suited. For a conservative girl, as long as you keep your hair clean and neatly styled. Each day. 6. If you color your hair, opt for natural-looking shades, including highlights, rather than bold colors like green, pink, or purple. 8. Opt for light, tasteful makeup if you wear any. You won't look very conservative if you wear a full glam look in the daytime. Instead, stick to a simple routine, such as concealer, tinted moisturizer, mascara, blush, and lip gloss. 7. It's okay to wear a little more makeup for special occasions. 4. Instance, you might add eyeshadow, eyeliner, and lipstick to your normal makeup routine if you're going on a date or attending a wedding. Tip, if you paint your nails, opt for clear or pale pink nail polish. 9. Cover up any tattoos if you have them. Visible tattoos don't look very conservative, so if you already have them, try to cover them with makeup or your clothing. If you don't have any tattoos, or if the ones you have are easily covered, avoid getting anything new that would be hard to cover up, like tattoos on your hands, face, forearms, or chest. 8. For the most part, visible piercings wouldn't be considered conservative. However, a small, tasteful nose ring might be an exception, depending on your personal style. Method 2. Lifestyle Download article 1. Go to bed early and rise early each day. If you want to live a conservative lifestyle, it won't do to stay up all night partying or watching cat videos. In order to be at your most productive during the day, go to bed at a reasonable hour and try to stick to the same bedtime each night. Then, wake at the same time every morning, even the weekends. 9. Keeping a regular routine will help you sleep better at night. Tell us what you think. When winding down for bed, which activity do you find most relaxing? Drinking non-caffeinated tea. Listening to soothing music. Dimming the lights in my room. Reading a book. Stretching or meditating. 38 total votes. 2. Eat a healthy diet full of lean proteins, fruits, and vegetables. You can apply. Conservative living to everything, even to the way you eat, so try to avoid. Making a habit of binging on indulgent treats. About half of what you eat should be nutritious fruits and vegetables like leafy greens, avocados, apples, and legumes. Another quarter should be lean proteins like chicken, turkey, tofu, and fish, and the final quarter should be whole grains, like wheat bread, quinoa, and brown rice. 10. Preparing your meals at home is a great way to have more control over the foods that you eat. 3. Avoid drinking alcohol excessively, if at all. Drinking too much alcohol can be bad for your health, but it can also lead to reckless behavior and a lapse in judgment. If you want to maintain a conservative lifestyle, it's important to Avoid this loss of control. If you do want to enjoy any alcoholic beverages, do so. In moderation. 11. For instance, if you have a glass of wine with dinner, ask for a glass of water after you finish it. If you'd still like another glass, 
When you finish the water, then it's fine. 4. Take dating slowly. To be conservative in your romantic life, take your time. Before committing to a relationship with another person, make sure that you only date someone because you really like them and can imagine yourself being with them in the long term. Also, avoid rushing into a physical relationship with anyone to avoid the appearance of being promiscuous. If you're already in a relationship, take some time to evaluate whether the two of you have the same long-term goals and values. 5. Consume thoughtful media that promotes family values. These days, it can be hard to avoid depictions of sex and violence in TV and movies, and social media can be full of a steady stream of content that's opposed to a conservative lifestyle. Try to tailor what you're watching and consuming so you're only taking in wholesome entertainment as much as possible. 12. For instance, you might unfollow anyone on your friend list who regularly posts memes that you find offensive. You might also avoid watching movies that are rated R. Especially if they got that rating because they're bloody, have foul language, or are filled with nudity. Consider the music you listen to, as well. For instance, try to listen music. That's free of profanity, and avoid artists who promote unhealthy views of women or society in general. 6. Be prudent with your finances. Being financially conservative is smart for everyone, but it can be hard to do. Make a budget and stick to it. Each time you get a paycheck, pay your bills before you make any purchases, so you'll know exactly what you have left over. Then. Set aside a little of what's left in a savings account so you'll be prepared in case of an unforeseen emergency. Why? 13. Also, try to get in the habit of limiting any unnecessary purchases. Method 3. Political choices. Download article 1. Understand that you don't have to support every conservative cause. You can consider yourself politically conservative without necessarily agreeing with everything that would be considered conservative. There's no one right way to be a conservative, so take some time to learn about different issues and evaluate your beliefs to determine which ones you support, as well as which ones you don't. For instance, social conservatives typically believe that abortion should be restricted or banned, and that gay marriage should not be legal. However, you can be politically conservative, which means you believe in things like less government interference and a free market economy, without necessarily being a social conservative. Two. Champion causes that promote individual liberty. Political conservatives believe that your individual freedoms are the most important thing that needs to be protected. That means you would oppose any laws that allow the government or other people to infringe on your freedom. 14. For instance, most political conservatives oppose strict gun. Control laws that might impede the Second Amendment right to bear arms. 3. Support initiatives that limit the government's role. One of the most universal beliefs among conservatives is that a smaller government is more efficient and effective. This might mean limiting laws that regulate environmental policies, for instance or supporting privatized healthcare. 15. Did you know? Conservatives are typically in favor of lowered taxes as part of a 
more streamlined government. 4. Study and support the free market system. If you're an economic conservative, you believe that a free market promotes competition. You likely also believe that such competition leads to a healthier economy, with more jobs. Overall, as well as a higher standard of living for society as a whole. 16. This would also involve being against social programs that inhibit a free market, like universal healthcare. 5. Emphasize personal responsibility over social support or government regulation. In addition to having individual liberty, as a conservative, you will also likely believe that each person should be responsible for their own actions. This might mean holding people accountable for things they've done wrong, but it also might mean being opposed to certain social programs. 17. For instance, you might support the death penalty for certain crimes, but you might be against programs that allow people to stay on welfare for long periods of time. You might also oppose amnesty for immigrants who came into the country illegally, even if you support immigration reform. That would allow people an easier path to become citizens of your country. 6. Place a high priority on traditional values. Typically, conservatives see themselves as being responsible for holding up traditional morals and conventions. For instance, you might be opposed to abortion or gay marriage. Or you might support legislation limiting the kind of content that can be shown on websites that cater to young children. 18. You might also oppose any interpretations of the Constitution that you don't feel accurately represent the Founding Fathers' original intent. Expert Q&A Question How can a teenager dress more modestly? L. Monas Image Consultant Expert Answer Social media has transformed how trends filter down to teens and it all moves very quickly. A quick internet search can give you a list of trends, where you can decide which is the best fit for yourself. Don't automatically count out something that seems to show too much. For example, if you pair a crop top with high waisted mom jeans or joggers, you're getting far more coverage while still staying up to date. Not helpful 1 helpful 5. Question. Is it okay if I dress and act more conservatively, but have progressive political beliefs? Community answer. Of course it is. There are no hard and fast rules about what a conservative person must dress like and what a progressive person must dress like. Furthermore, plenty of people fall somewhere in between the two on the political spectrum. Not helpful 6 helpful 48. Question. How shall I keep my temper under control and still have composure in irritable times, when bullies are teasing me, etc. Anime bread. Top answer. If you can, try to just avoid those people. If you see them, walk away. If they're in your class, just ignore them, or seek help from a teacher or guidance counselor. Not helpful 12 helpful 63. See more answers. Ask a question. Submit. Tips. Submit a tip. All tip submissions are carefully reviewed before being published. Submit. You might also like. How to. Dress modestly and attractively, girls. How to. Be proud of who you are. How to. Define your personal values. How to. Abstain from sex with your long-term boyfriend. 
How to Join the Republican Party How to Be stylish How to Cross-dress How to Fix a gaping neckline How to Dress sexy but casual How to Wear a fanny pack What is the coquette aesthetic? The viral TikTok trend, explained How to Look androgynous How to Dress smart casual, females How to Dress with no bra References 1 https forward slash forward slash www.howotwear.com forward slash modest fashion 2 https forward slash forward slash www.uravelblog.com forward slash dressing modestly conservative countries forward slash 3 https forward slash forward slash howtojold.com forward slash dress conservatively teenagers 9384.html 4 https forward slash forward slash www.careerfairplus.com forward slash blog forward slash what to wear to a career fair 5 https forward slash forward slash www.angelo.edu forward slash services forward slash career forward slash job underscore search forward slash dress.php 6 https forward slash forward slash www.angelo.edu forward slash services forward slash career forward slash job underscore search forward slash dress.php 7 https forward slash forward slash www.angelo.edu forward slash services forward slash career forward slash job underscore search forward slash dress.php 8 https forward slash forward slash www.angelo.edu forward slash services forward slash career forward slash job underscore search forward slash dress.php 9 https forward slash forward slash www.entrepreneur.com forward slash article forward slash 289823 More references, 9 About this article Co-authored by L. Monas Image Consultant This article was co-authored by L. Monas and by WikiHow staff writer, Amy Bobbinger El Monas is an image consultant and the co-founder of True Image Group. With over 11 years of fashion industry experience, she specializes in holistic approaches to branding, size-inclusive image consulting, and personal styling. Additionally, El has had the opportunity to work on several New York Fashion Week shows and has been Featured in multiple media outlets, such as Racked. This article has been viewed 310,018 times. 9 votes, 49%. Co-authors, 37. Updated, 8 December, 2023. Views, 310,018. Categories, Fashion Styles. In other languages, Spanish, Russian, Italian, Indonesian, Dutch, print. Send fan mail to authors. Thanks to all authors for creating a page that has been read 310,018 times. Did this article help you? Yes, no. Co-authored by El Monas. Image Consultant 9 Votes, 49% Click a star to vote Co-authors, 37 Updated, 8 December, 2023 Views, 310,018 Jennifer Rogers The 11th of May, 2016 I know everyone is different but having morals, self-respect, and being polite to all is very important to be a more 
Share yours. More success stories. Quizzes. Do I have a dirty mind quiz? Take quiz. Am I a good kisser quiz? Take quiz. AI riz test, calculate your riz. Take quiz. What's your red flag quiz? Take quiz. Am I smart quiz? Take quiz. How insecure am I quiz? Take quiz. You might also like. How to. Dress modestly and attractively, girls. How to. Be proud of who you are. How to. Define your personal values. How to. Abstain from sex with your long-term boyfriend. Featured articles. How to. Exercise your brain. How to. Deal with a know-it-all. How to. Save money. 23 Best Practices to Become More Humble What to do when a dog attacks How to dance, smooth and simple moves for any occasion Trending articles How to do nice things for your parents and show your appreciation How to Tell a girl she's beautiful How to connect a new remote to Fire Stick without the old remote Target's restocking schedule, the best time to shop for your favorite items. How to take your shoulder measurements, with or without help. Are my cats playing or fighting? How to know the difference. Featured articles. What vibe do I give off quiz? How to. Read body language. How to. Get glowing skin in just one week. How to start and keep a text conversation going. How to build a positive thinking mindset. How to make your mascara look great. Featured articles. How to get to know yourself, a guide to self-discovery. How to stop being scared after watching scary movies. 19 ways to build character every day. 17 Comforting Things to Say When Someone Passes Away Learn to be emotionless and cope with whatever life throws at you. How to be emo, a guide to emo culture. Watch articles. How to make body oil. How to light a candle in a jar and not get burned. How to make an indicator for acids and bases using hibiscus petals. The proper ways to chill champagne. How to. Make a slurpee. How to. Eat small portions during meals. Trending up.